Hey everybody and welcome to this little walkthrough of Concrete 5 CMS. We're going to take a look at uh, what this CMS is all about, uh, some of the features that uh, Concrete 5 has and generally try to, um, to work with it. So first of all I've got Concrete 5 installed on my computer here. It's running on my local host. I have MAMP running uh, so this is very good and uh, we can see we got this elemental theme that is the default theme that comes sh uh, shipped with concrete and uh, it's a very nice theme that supports uh, a wide, uh, wide variety of uh, different um, website types. First of all uh, we should try to log into this system. Elemental theme has a login link in the bottom that we, uh, that we can use. Uh, if you're using a theme that doesn't have a login, you can always type up here uh, index.php slash login and then you should be taken to the login screen of Concrete. So let's try to log in here. And then we should see in a couple of minutes that we get a nice a nice header bar in the top. We can see we got it there. Let's close this up here and let's go back to our web page. This is just a welcome a page of concrete um, and we can click this back to website up here so that we will have our elemental theme again so now we can see it looks pretty much the same but we got this header bar in the top um, and this is where you control m many things in concrete um, concrete CMS is um, is a system where that is put the user in focus uh, you don't really have a traditional backend where you edit the content. Concrete has tried to make um, it possible for the user to edit uh, the stuff uh, as they see it or as they call it in context editing. So you will edit it in the context of the web page. We got some different things in this header. We got some uh, we got some settings over here if we uh, click in the upper right you can see we got uh, some settings of the system uh, a sitemap uh, a file manager uh, user registration uh, user management pages and themes and some system and settings and the first thing I would like to do is actually go into system and settings because one thing that is very good to change right away is the cache settings because if we are changing something we are making uh, changes to our website we really would like to see the changes right away and sometimes the cache will conflict with that because the cache is uh, something that saves a version of uh, the website for later use so the CMS can present the website very fast uh, but when we are developing and making changes, we would like to see the changes right away. So we are I'm just going to put off the cache uh, in concrete here now. Mm, let's see. All right. So basically just put everything to off. Click save. Yep, cache settings are saved. Very nice. So let's go back to our to our settings here. Um, Concrete Five has a lot of different settings. I'm not going to go into every one of those, but you can see that we have quite a few different settings uh, to tweak. We have multilingual where you can change the language, permissions, access, uh, a lot of good stuff. Okay, uh, if we take the sitemap first, this is basically just. Yeah, what it says, a sitemap, a sitemap of, the, of the website. And uh, we'll display the various pages uh, in the website. We got a file manager that uh, if you've been working with WordPress, uh, much like the one in WordPress, uh, we got files here. We can make folders. We can organize our files um, in folders and we can search for them. Um, if we take an image we can have a look at the file a preview we can download it and we can also it has a simple editor 
if we want to make simple changes to our image we can also do that we can crop the image uh, from inside the, the editor which is very cool um, so good file manager and we got members which basically just shows us a list of the users in the system right now we got an admin user and we can add a an user if we go down to pages and themes we can see here that uh, in a in a cms uh, there are usually some some different themes here and we got elemental installed we also have a thing called page templates and this is how uh, concrete deals with uh, the structure of a website uh, you can have different types of page templates we can see here we got a blank template a full template left sidebar and page forbidden right sidebar many different templates to um, to make a website and this is totally up to you how many different templates you want to have in your uh, website so you can go in here and you can make uh, you can make new page templates if we click on page types you can see here we got all of these different page types that we can use on our website in this particular theme and of course we can make our own all right enough about this settings here um, one very very fundamental thing is how do we edit something in this in this uh, CMS and we can see on um, on Elemental we have a lot of different types of information here up here you can see we got edit this page we got some uh, page design location and we have a button here where we can add content to the page when we want to change something in concrete we will put the page in edit mode and we can do this by clicking up here so now we're in edit mode and we can go down find something we can see here we got these boxes around the content now and uh, this is what we mean by saying that this is in context editing because we can see how the website actually looks while we're editing uh, we can see the navigation is a side wide meaning that the the menu is going to be on all the pages. We have side-wide header search and uh, an image slider. If we want to change something, uh, we can click on a block and then we can say edit block and then we will have an editor, and basic what you see is what you get editor, where you can uh, make the changes you want to. So if we want to make, uh, let's say, a new title, get rid of the old one we can do that we can go in here and make some changes also and save it and concrete will save the changes so now we can see we made the changes and the block has been updated this is very simple and we can we can just click it and say edit block um, we can also put in other content types if we click on this add content we can concrete come ship with a lot of built-in blocks uh, text images files HTML uh, a lot of stuff is built into the CMS uh, Google Maps for instance uh, this is very good because then you don't have to install so many plugins or add-ons uh, to make uh, to make your website work uh, so we have these these blocks here and if I'm going to drag in here a block take you can see if I drag it in here I can drop it somewhere in the website so if I drop it just above this open new open for business I can see here we get a new editor and we can put in some new stuff And concrete is going to save that again. So we got some, we got a new block here, and we can also delete it, of course. So this is very, very simple to use. If we take a look at how this actually uh, looks in a different browser, for instance, if we go to Edge and take a look at oh, C5, if we see the changes we made, 
we can see that the change is not actually reflected here. So this is the reason uh, we need to, uh, to publish our changes. Uh, the way we do that is we take the page out of edit mode, because right now we've just been saving some changes, we haven't been publishing them. So I'm gonna click on this here, and uh, we can see Concrete is asking us to make some version comments, and we can save it and publishing them. Concrete 5 is actually maintaining all of our versions, so we can keep track of the different changes we made to our website. Which is a very nice feature, because if we make a mistake, we can go back, and usually we will make a mistake at some point. I'm going to put in the first change and publish changes. So if we head back to our edge and refresh that, we should be able to see our changes now. So now we got it here, the new title and uh, the new stuff here. All right. Thank you very much for watching, people. Bye-bye.